Hello and welcome to Sub Stone Civil War. My name is Sub and this is my top 5 football boots of all time. So for my top 5, I'm basing it mostly on my playing experience with these boots as well as the performance of these boots as well. Not so much in terms of look because I don't really care too much for looks. I'm more of a kind of a nerd when it comes to like materials and the performing aspects of different football boots. So starting off with number 5, we have Nike Maestri CTR360 Maestri 2. I've actually owned two pairs of these boots. So one when I was younger, I had the white and gunmetal. And now I've recently bought, when I say recently, I've, within the last two years, I've bought this red and white model, which I've always wanted. It gives me the old Cesc Fabregas, Jack Wilshere, and yes, the vibes from that 2010-2011 season. Now the CTR360 is a very special boot. I think this is a boot that kind of changed the game a lot for nike as well as adidas as well so i think the introduction of like control boots into the market really kind of jazzed up the way brands really made football boots and i kind of in my opinion changed the way that adidas marketed the predator predator used to be a power boot and then it slowly transitioned into a control boot and i think the ctr 360 has a lot to do with that now in terms of performance this is one of my like i said now in terms of performance it's a great boot it's very well padded it's got the Kanga light, which is a synthetic version of leather. Feel for the ball was good. Comfort was superb. And I really enjoyed playing with these. I actually won my first league title wearing the black and gun metal versions. And then from time to time, I will wear these as well. But I want to keep these as long as I possibly can. And these are you know, like, in terms of colorways, these are one of my favorite boots of all time anyway. At number four, we have the Nike Phantom Venom. And as you can tell, they're quite beaten up. So I've used them quite a lot. So you can tell I like them a lot. So growing up, the style I wore the most was the Total 90. So my actual first pair of boots ever were a pair of Total 90 Air Zoom 2s. Um, of course, I take that version, but like growing up, I've worn various versions. I've worn the Laser 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, so yeah, growing up, the Total 90 was my favorite boot, you could say. And it was quite disheartening when Nike discontinued the Total 90. But, you know, we got the Hyper Venom, which wasn't too bad. But yeah, when Nike re-released these in like, I think it was 2018, 2019 time, like it was a really exciting for me because like you can pretty much say that they are a modernized version of the T90. And in my opinion, they're very much like you could say in terms of performance wise, they are a perfected version of the T90. So in terms of, um, you can see the obvious characteristics like that kind of shoot shield with the kind of fins that you see here. Um, comfort wise excellent weight wise even better they're like you know the t9s tend to be a very bulky boot and they really reduce the size and the weight with these and a very underrated aspect of the phantom venom i feel that maybe doesn't get mentioned enough is the feel for the ball so a lot of people kind of characterize this as a boot more for like defenders or maybe players in like defensive positions in general anyway but like when you have the ball at your feet with these i almost felt like i would not say like i was in the or Messi or something like that, but like, you know, you get a really good kind of like ball to mind connection when you're dribbling with these on, and it was quite an underrated aspect of the boot in my opinion. And the special thing about these ones as well, I think these got released during lockdown, so people weren't really playing football at the time, so I think Nike had a lot of like kind of the pro models in stock, so the S Soul Plate that you see here, this is the SG Soul Plate, but it's not the one that was originally intended for the Phantom Venom. These ones actually have the ones that were intended for the Hyper Venom Phantom 3, if this will focus. It's not going to focus, but hey, you, you hear what I'm saying. Um, yeah, so comfort wise, great. Fit my feet very well. They did well for like wide feet as well. So overall, I had very good playing experiences in these boots, and hopefully, I can maybe get a new pair that aren't as beaten up, but. Who knows? And number three, you have the Adidas X Speed Flow. Now, these for me are probably the best speed boots that I have ever used. In terms of just like overall performance, they are excellent. In terms of responsiveness, comfort, feel for the ball, traction, these do everything almost to uh, everything's all green. It's almost 10 and 10 in every department of these. I think, in terms of its comparators, in terms of other Xs, I think. Nothing comes close. I've not had the chance to use the speed portal, but from what I've heard, it's not as good as the speed flow. Even look at Benzema, it looks like he's wearing speed portals, but actually, if you look very closely, they're actually camouflaged um, speed flows. So yeah, again, these are a joke, really and truly. These are one of my favorite boots to play in at the moment. Um, you feel light and comfortable, and you feel on your toes because of like the carbon text in insert on the sole player as well. 
Previously, I used to think that carbon fiber in four boots, it does like provide that kind of springy, responsive sensation when you're playing. I always thought it was a bit overrated, but in these, it feels like it's almost like a perfect balance as well. And an underrated thing is with uh, a lot of boots is like sometimes with speed boots, you kind of have to compromise comfort with responsiveness. These do a perfect job of balancing both, in my opinion. Yeah, so again, speed flow, one of the best boots I've used hands down. Uh, probably my favorite Adidas boot of all time. Now for first and second place it was a bit of a toss up and if I had made this video a year ago number two would have been number one. So at number two I have the Naki Hyper Venom Phantom. Now the Hyper Venom is one of the few boots that I, I have actually bought twice. So I've got the World Cup um, colorway here from 2014 and I also previously owned the launch colorway, the orange and black one. Now as I said earlier I was quite upset when Nike discontinued the Total 90 series but in the Hyper Venom we got pretty much the perfect replacement. And in terms of like innovation and boot technology, I think the Happy Venom is Nike's poster boy. I think there's not been a more kind of innovative football boot Nike have released that has pretty much like intrigued my interest as much as the Hyper Venom did when it first dropped. And there's pretty much lots to love about the first Hyper Venom. You've got the kind of supple, very soft Nike skin with the kind of 3D texturing on it. Comfort-wise, incredible. Almost feels like you're wearing slippers at times. Soul plate as well, you've got a kind of toe split here, which is supposed to add um, extra um, flexibility. You've got a mix of conical and a few chevron shaped studs for like, you know, agility when turning and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, in terms of actually playing them, it was like wearing slippers when you're playing, like I said earlier. One of my favorite boots to wear. I don't wear them that often because you can see they're in, not in the greatest of shape. I've tried to save them a bit with super glue. So I only use them very, very rarely. Um, but yeah, again, you know, if I was like a Tony Cruz of the world where I have the demand to tell brands that please just make this one boot for me for us to create, this might have been the boot for me for over like maybe the last 10 years or so until I got to number one, which you will find out later. And it just occurred to me, this might be probably, if not the most comfortable synthetic boot I've ever used. And I'm not sure there's been a leather boot that's actually been as comfortable as this one for me anyway. And finally, we are here at number one. My favorite player of full boots of all time has to be... The Drum roll, please. Do you get it, Bernard? The Nike Phantom Ultra Venom. These boots are incredible. So from a performance standpoint, I think... I remember these. the breaking time is 10 seconds. If It's zero time. Like, I remember I bought these... Got these on maybe the Thursday, had a game on Saturday, and I wore them straight into the game, and it almost felt like I've been wearing these for months already. Like, in terms of comfort, 10 out of 10. Tight feel for the ball, 10 out of 10. Like, literally, this is pretty much almost the perfect football boot. And I wish Nike did release more of these. Now, the Flyknit Ultra, I guess, I think it's kind of like a prototype of the grip knit, but it's a bit more aggressive on the um, Ultra Venom here. Um, I like the aggressive look to it. It kind of reminds me of like, you know, Venom from Spider-Man. And one of the favorite things about this, it kind of uses the, uses the hyper reactive, um, as a hyper, yeah, hyper reactive soul plate that you see on the Hyper Venom Phantom 3. And, and also I think the boot is meant to be like an amalgamation of the Hyper Venom and the GT series, as you can see them on the heels of the boots. If this will focus, it probably won't focus, but yeah, um, it's written down the heel. So, Really and truly, a lot of the kind of things that you see in this boot, you actually see in the later released um, Phantom GT, I mean for GX, sorry. Um, the, for example, like the kind of heel liner, which is soft. I think a lot of people complain about that on the GT2. Uh, so Nike fixed that. And then, you know, it's just, you know, folding here. You see that on the GX as well. So I use these boots quite a lot in my regular season this season, which we actually won the league. And I wore these in my first game, wore them in the last game as well. Kind of like a good luck thing. I do have a rotation of football boots. But yeah, in terms of overall performance, feel for the ball, comfort, um, traction is very good as well. It's just an incredible football boot. And, I and that, ladies and gentlemen, has been my top five football boots of all time. Let me know your top five. Comment them down below. I'm pretty sure everyone is going to look very different because we all have different preferences on football boots. And that's pretty much fine. No one needs to argue about which one's better than which. 
And like I say at the end of a lot of my videos, if you thought the video was sublime, like the video, if you thought the video was so poor, please let me know what I did and what I can do differently to make it my videos a bit better. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I make football boot related content. So not necessarily just football boots, football gear, football apparel, all types of videos around, around the topic area. So if that's your thing, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I drop videos every single day in terms of so long term or short. But in terms of long term videos, um, or should I say long form videos, should I say, um, I drop them every Monday and Friday. So be sure to look out for those. And once again, my name is Sub. This has been Sub Sub Thank you for watching. Peace out.